Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mike Armstrong podcast show and this afternoon I'm joined by Scott Dell uh, who is on morning time uh, in America uh, but he's an academic and an entrepreneur of Intro Edge uh, based in uh, South Carolina and uh, South, Carolina. South Carolina and it sounds like he's got a really interesting business which I'm going to like to uh, have a chat about because Intro Edge is all about introducing themselves and I'm a massive award-winning networker so if ever there's going to be a good conversation to get stuck into that's going to be one of them but how are you doing today Scott you okay? Outstanding how about yourself Mike? Yeah I'm awesome so uh, yeah um, uh, I love the word awesome because I'm awesome every day I get to live my best Sweet. life and uh, I love the word outstanding. I belong to the Outstanding Network, which is a network in Ireland full of outstanding people. So I'm glad you're having an outstanding day. It's nice to be part of your network as well. Yes, yeah, brilliant. And, and, and actually, once people come on my podcast or connect with me in any way, they are part of my network. And it is about the long-term relationship building. So uh, that's what I'm all about. Tell us a little bit about what you're all about. Well, people ask me what I do, and I say it depends on the day. For the past 14 years, officially, I've been a full-time academic. Uh, I just got my doctorate last December out of the University of Wisconsin. And I also have been entrepreneurial. I've owned and operated a number of businesses, grown them, sold them, shared, helped others grow, and hopefully try to inspire. Similar to what you're doing, so I'm inspired by your activity. Yeah, great. Uh, the latest project is a startup that I got involved with this past summer. And it, it turns out this COVID stuff has tr turned into an interesting opportunity. It's affected a lot of us in a big way. I have a wife who is uh, who has some health issues that were very fearful on lockdown, but we've eliminated the commute. I think I've been longer days and longer hours, but being hopefully more productive, getting things done. Yeah. Uh, the start we joined, it's American Educational Systems. We have a package called IntroEdge.com. And it's a, it's a course, if you've ever heard of Sylvan Learning Centers, the founder of Sylvan Learning Centers, who franchise those globally, is a partner in this group. And because of my LinkedIn experience, I was invited to join them as a startup this past summer. And IntroEdge.com, it's a course that basically is the art of the introduction. Yeah. I, I call it an elevator pitch on steroids, but none of the partners ever use the term elevator pitch, and I have heard them say that. But it's a way of getting remembered, whether you're interviewing and you want to make that favorable impression so that your five candidates are out there and you want to be the one that's remembered. This is a story that you tell about yourself and whether you're even asking for a date, even yeah. introduce yourself, even on a podcast. Yeah, so those like, what, like the crazy Welsh guy with glasses, you mean? Yeah, I know. Can, can see the light, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I also wrote a book this summer and on LinkedIn, and it's the first publication on Amazon that I've ever done. So again, this COVID's turned into an opportunity, a chance to network. I think I don't, I don't think I would have met you had it not been for COVID. So it's given again, those things that we go global, we get to meet people, we get the exposure and we get to help others. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, and I, it sounds like we have had very um, similar lockdowns, if you like. I wrote a book at the start of lockdown. I also wrote two courses. Uh, um, seminars, um, formulas really. One's the happiness formula, which is called SMART, sleep, meditation, ability to perform random acts of kindness and targets, which if you do on a daily basis will make you happier. Yeah, so it's a daily yeah. formula. And, uh, and then streams, which is a success formula, systems, technology, relationships, efficiency, action, marketing and sales. Yeah, which is the seven wow. pillars of success. You do the two together, you've got long-term elite business performance because you've got smart streams, yeah? So you've got the success and the looking after yourself, which gives you long-term success. Plus you put them together and the smart streams are going to put you into full flow. Interesting. Actually, the more you give, the more you get. It sounds like you're very giving and that's the perspective that you, that things take. So it's, it's, yeah. it's a way to go. And now the book I have, the Your Complete Guide to Succeeding with LinkedIn, yeah. that is a master guide that I was able to publish. I started out with a checklist, worked with this startup I was going, and I started with 10 points of a checklist, it got to 20. I ended up with 85 points of where to go and what to do and how to do it. I said, this isn't a checklist, this is a book. Yeah. So 
how it evolved. And I actually, when I get to 100, I'm having a second edition. And I'm up to 96 right now. I can so, help uh, you with that because I've actually done a post on my LinkedIn, which you need to check out. I've done it about a couple of weeks ago, which is 80 different content marketing strategies for LinkedIn. Wow. I, have, I'm, I, I know we're connected and I will take a look at that. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, I also shared a video this morning, which was um, um, basically free LinkedIn training for anyone out there for the majority of LinkedIn users, which was um, basically the crux of it was, it was a three minute video, but it was um, stop liking and putting your thumbs up and start getting involved in the conversation. Um, so um, so I, I, I said, like I said, if, if, I, if, if I come into a pub with you and a load of your friends or into a network with a load of people and I just walked around giving it the old thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, I didn't speak to anyone, they'd all think I was a weirdo. It's like handing out business cards without having a conversation. You're yeah. right. You need to engage. Yeah. And I actually took a, I'm going to be doing a five day challenge this fall. I took a five week course. And you're probably familiar with five day challenges. You basically yeah. get solid content in those five days. It's free and it's exposure. It's the no like and trust factor that you build. Yeah. And then if you have other offers, if you like, you have courses where you have other offerings, you're able on the sixth day to say, Hey, we've gone this far. You've come a long way. If you want to go to the next step, there's an option. If you don't great, you walk away and you've got good content and good experience. Yeah. So I'm excited to participate and share that stuff. I, I do a lot with college students. Uh, careers, internships, opportunities. I'm a Toastmasters fan. Uh, we have started chapters because that gives some soft skills to our students. And as an academic and educator, that's that. Uh, I, I, I love the classroom. I love what the students do and can do and help getting them going. And we're all yeah. students of life and we're all learning. I always learn a lot when I teach. Well, like yeah. we, you know, you, give. you say that, you say that, but only it's about 10%, you know, or 3% of people that actually are constantly learning. The rest of the people have given up, but they should be constantly learning. We all should be constantly learning. We all learn little things on a daily basis, the majority of people, but, you know, people who are properly learning, actually pushing themselves and their bodies and their brains to what they're capable of doing, those people are very um, rare and uh, in small uh, uh, quantities, but... You know, I'm out there trying to reach those people and trying to educate the other people who are only learning little bits here and there to actually just learn a little bit more, you know, take it, take it on board and, and, and actually grow yourself in some capacity. It's all about lifelong learning. I, mean, I know you mountain bike and you know I motorcycle. I used to teach motorcycle safety for Harley and I taught photography and other things. And I ended up, like I said, I, you know, I, I turned 60 and I just got my, my, my doctorate. And I wasn't the oldest guy in my class either. So there is a trend towards lifelong learning. And if you're familiar with MOOCs, the massive open online courses, you can take free classes from Harvard, from Wharton, from Stanford, University of London. I mean, you, it's global that these programs are available. You can take a two hour MOOC for free from IBM. And my students get that on their resume with a badge. And now they know about blockchain that other folks don't know about and they get insights and grow. So yeah. it, it is about growth and we're all, we're all, we all, all have to grow, grow or die is the same as a mantra for business. And then, and I think a mantra for individuals as well. Yeah. Well, I've done 580 episodes on my podcast since April and that's all educational pieces, helping people to grow. You know, it's, it's all aimed at young entrepreneurs and people who need to learn stuff, older entrepreneurs as well, because there's stuff in there, you know, about sales and marketing and social media and stuff. You know, we all need to keep learning and, you know, we all have, we all don't know what we don't know. And it's only when we get introduced to what we don't know, do we realize that actually we may want to know something about it. We may, we may want to go down a rabbit hill, uh, rabbit hole and know everything about it. You know, it's only once it gets introduced to us. So um, I'm a massive personal development person. I read and, and listened to audio books about 14 during lockdown, as well as created, you know, 580 bits of content on my podcast, 130 entrepreneur chats on my YouTube channel. Um, what else have I done? Created those formulas, wrote a book. You know, uh, <laughs> I've really been You've blasted. Been You've been busy. I'm on a mission. Well, giving, I am. I've got, a, I got a map of the world as well. I'm global networking and I'm putting red pins in into the world. I don't think I got North Carolina. I think I got South Carolina, which means you're yep, going to live Carolina, on my, on You have my, South Carolina now. Yeah, sorry. Yep. Yeah, I think I got North Carolina, but not South. So you're going to live as a pin on my map forever uh, in South Carolina. And um, I'm honored. I've been training people since I was 18. I'm 42 now, coming up to 43. I want to be training Excellent. people globally for the next 30, 40 years. 
yeah, which is why I created the content on the podcast. I'm going to put it all into a university at some point. Uh, but I want training gigs. So any, anyone who's got a, a network of people who need training, especially in entrepreneurship, LinkedIn, social media, sales, marketing, networking, any of those things, which sounds like you might be the man, um, anyone who can get me into speaking gigs or, you know, I'm happy to do free stuff to start with because you've got to start somewhere. And then, you know, the I'll, I'll make my way to, to, to whatever I make, I make it in the future then. I was part of a franchise group called New Horizon Computer Learning Center. We were the seventh franchise, part of the first year of franchising. They were global, went public. They had over 300 locations around the world. And the tagline was, if you can't give it away, you can't sell it. Yeah. And I'll share an insight that I learned. And I'm a CPA and I've been in business a long time. But the idea was, our goal was to give away a free class. You pick up the, the smile and dial, you know sales and, and marketing. I sold cars, I sold vacuum cleaners. And, and not your typical CPA, I don't do taxes. But the opportunity when you can't give it away, you can't sell it. If you called up and said, hi, if I could give you a free class, would you take advantage? If they wouldn't take advantage of a free class and they say, send me some information. No, 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 that's not the sales cycle. You wanna take a free class? Great, it's foot in the door, super. You've got a department, you've got a division, you've got a company, we'll get you going and we can help you learn technology and learn what you need to learn. But if you can't give it away and they say, uh, they're putting you off, that's not the sales cycle. Until someone comes in and takes a class, you just gave it away. Now you have an opportunity to have that dialogue and provide additional services and value add to whatever, whatever the needs is. But if yeah, you can't, uh, and a lot of people say, yes, yeah, send it to me. It's like, yeah. that's, that, that does not the formula. No, no, funnily enough, funnily enough, I'm just about to um, create a video. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I'm going to do it over the weekend at some point because I'm just busy all the time. But I'm, I'm, I'm just about to offer a free training on my happiness formula and my success formula so I can start selling cool. the courses. I, I want, uh, it's not free training, it's, it's free training um, uh, in exchange for feedback, case studies and testimonials. Yep, that's how, that, that's how you grow and then you write. You're planting the roots, planting the seeds, and then growing from there and rising above. So that's 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 where you start. You got the, you're on the right track. It sounds like you're doing great things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be pulling up trees soon. So uh, you know, I'm on a mission. So uh, you know, <laughs> nothing's going to get in my way, sort of thing. Like you know what I mean? There's, there's nothing can get in my way. Only me. I sense a steamroller effect here. So I, I like the momentum. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I'm 100 miles. I've been 100 miles an hour on the runway for. Um, for um, well, I would say I'm probably in the air now. I was on, I was 100 miles an hour on the runway for about three months, I think, and now I think I'm just starting to lift off because the cumulative yep. effect. You know, taken off. Yeah, I'm just starting to take off and starting to meet the right people, get the right contacts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, I've had um, people like Colin McLaughlin on my podcast, who's like um, a TV star from a program SAS who dares wins. Yeah, okay. I'm Bob Berg on. Do you know Bob Berg, best-selling author? Mm. No, I've had loads of people like me, just awesome entrepreneurs who are connectors, networkers, speakers, coaches, you know. Actually, coming out of the woodwork, there are a lot of solopreneurs and entrepreneurs growing again out of this crisis. We're actually finding the time to be able to grow and to network and to, and to succeed. Yeah. And a lot of companies that are succeeding right now, despite... I mean, there's a lot of people and things you hear, and there's there's a lot of restrictions, but out of that comes opportunity. And it sounds like you're making the opportunity, as am I. I'm trying as well. Yeah. We're unlocked. We did three weeks of online classes. Next week, after our U.S. Labor Day, we're going back to school full in, in the classroom. Uh, but I now have the options of giving my students to online or in the classroom, so we're giving flexibility if they don't feel comfortable. And we're, we're, we're taking care of each other that way. Yeah, well, the reason I've been 100 miles an hour for so long is because I want to monetize my podcast as quickly as possible, which means you need audience numbers, figures, you know, you need, uh, you need uh, stats and, and stuff to get, to get a sponsor. So I'm looking for sponsors for, I got like about um, uh, 10 different features, maybe more, 15 maybe. Yeah, I've got like a King of Marketing, Wolf of Wales, which are marketing and sales training features. I got Network of 2018 because I won an award for networking in 2018. So I do a lot of content Sorry. under that brand. 
Yeah. Are you going to be writing a book on networking as well? Or yeah, well, I, I, I got like, hundreds of books in me. I got a lot of content in me. I've done 580 yeah. podcast episodes in a short period of time. I've had 130 interesting entrepreneurs from around the world on my podcast. Yeah, I've got so yes, much yes. content. I'm just farming at the moment. I'm planting the seeds and growing the trees so that I can shape the trees in the future into houses and trees and factories and you know and wooden ornaments and whatever I want to make out of the out of the wood. Like yep. you know. And we have so we we actually had the tree trimmer out last uh, yesterday because we we're installing solar here at our home here in South Carolina. So we're just, and we're the first in the neighborhood of uh, about 200 homes that we're going to be going solar, and in the uh, it should be an interesting process. Yeah, I've got a book. You know, rich He's dad, poor dad. You know, rich dad, poor dad. Rich dad, poor dad, or Grant Cardone 10x. I'm sorry. Uh, do you know rich dad, poor dad? The book. Yeah, oh, sure, of course. Yeah, and yeah. Grant Cardone, 10X. Actually, the Rich Dad Poor Dad, I've, I've also heard the wife speak. She had, she was on a podcast, yeah. and she, she's, they're, 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 they're a talented group. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Uh, well, well, basically, I'm envisaging something like that, you know, book series, seminars, uh, you know, selling out stadiums, all that sort of thing. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like a go hard or go home kind of guy. There you go. And now you can Zoom it all. You don't have, you have to go anywhere. You, it's, no. it's all... It's all doing it like we're doing it right now. Zoom, zoom it and, and, and go. Yeah. Well, funnily yeah. enough, um, I've partnered up with another power network from the southeast of England, and I'm from South Wales, Southwest, yeah? yeah. And we, yep. we've met during this time, and I, I network with Shades. He networks with a lot of people, right? He's got glasses, but not Shades. But I think he started wearing sunglasses the other day, he said something wrong with his eye. And I said to him, we, we were talking about the 80s or something, we ended up talking about the Blues Brothers, and he said, that's oh, my, my favorite film of all time. And I said, that oh, was one of my favorite films of all time as well. So we're actually going to start um, networking as the Blues Brothers as well with our glasses and, and hats. Yeah. There you go. That's, that's an image. That's a good, that's a cool image. Yeah. And yeah. So, so, and, and we're going to call it a networking with soul because we're both people who like to help people. That's the attitude. That's the way to go. Excellent. Yeah. So, uh, in the right so things yeah. in the right directions. I like, I like, I like hearing those kind of success stories and that, and that, that's, that's an, a very positive feel good. Yeah. I've had loads of those type of conversations because for me, people like me are putting themselves up at the parapet. They're going online to global events. They're connecting, resonating with each other and connect with them somehow. And because like, I'm all about collaboration, growing together, you know, pushing each other up, build, pulling each other up, you know, support each other, be in the wind underneath each other's wings. You know, I'm sharing content all the time. You know, to me, it's about offering value to other people. That's how you become valuable. But, you know? Exactly. So, um, the more you give, the more you get. And a lot of people feel that they have to take. And yeah. that's not, the take formula doesn't work. The give formula no. does. Well, a lot of people have a scarcity mindset. They think everything's in short supply, but nothing's in short supply, really. And, uh, you know, in fact, the only thing that is... The only thing that is in short supply is, is or expand the pie. Yeah, so that's that conversation we just had on in the academic world. Yeah, and trying to get the goals. Well, to you know, or, or work together to just you know increase the pies in the store. You know, and and, and, and put a manufacturing of pie factory together, and then you know that's open right. up a different one in each country. You know what I mean? It's not just the one pie. Don't worry about the pie. There's plenty of pie to go around. Spread the wealth. That's it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, you know, so, so that's why, uh, you know, um, I'm meeting loads of great people. And I think, you know, you're definitely in one of those categories. I think there's some stuff we can do together going forward, because there's so much stuff we're doing in the same space that, you know, to me, it's, it's illogical not to work out how you can enhance each other's offerings and share that extra quality and quantity to more people. Exactly. Well, we'll look forward to welcoming you into the States. And when I return to Cardiff, I, I know where to go now. So yes, exactly, exactly. And I can give you uh, the the insiders tour of Cardiff, which uh, is much more exciting. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. So um, so yes. Yeah, so um, tell us a little bit about uh, how people get in touch with you if they're interested in your courses and all and, and your entrepreneurship side of things. And tell us a little bit as well about the academic side of what you do as well. Of course. Well, I, I've been getting branding under Dr. Scott CPA. So if you go to LinkedIn slash in slash Dr. Scott CPA, you can go to Zoom slash Dr. Scott CPA. You can go to Amazon Authors. If you search on Amazon for Dr. Scott CPA, you'll see my books and publications. What does the CPA stand for? 
certified public accountant. So my roots are in the big eight, which is we were the, used to be the eight largest accounting firms in the world. Now they're down to the big four. So I'm an old time accountant. Yeah. Uh, started audit world, started in business, uh, got into consulting, got my Wharton MBA because I needed an MBA to get into consulting out of audit and have been entrepreneurial, started my own consulting practice, training company, had a restaurant called Cheesecake, et cetera. My official title was taste tester. And it was a fun, it was a fun gig. And, but I was also lactose intolerant, but it was worth the sacrifice. And I am, we, we, we made it work. Uh, my wife is a master chef. Her dad owned a bakery in New York city. Her dad's dad in Dominican Republic. Her dad's dad, dad had a patisserie in France. So she's got it in her genes and I, I get to eat the benefits I'm afraid. And it shows sometimes. As far as the academic side, I was adjuncting for over 20 years. And part of that adjunct, I, I, I taught photography when I was in high school. As I said, I taught motorcycle safety. I've taught all kinds of different things from computers to business to other, I, other thoughts, ideas, sales. I've uh, led, led sales teams and marketing teams, sold vacuum cleaners and sold cars. But the ac actual academic side in the teaching, while I was being an entrepreneur, I enjoyed the classroom, enjoyed the communication, and you learn so much when you teach. I mean, you're, you're a teacher, you're communicating. I love it, yeah, I love it. I love, I've loved learning and I love teaching and sharing. And like you say, you know, you can never stop learning, you know, if exactly you want right. to. Exactly right. It's like a mirror. You're looking in the mirror and it comes back at you. So you always learn when you teach. And then I was offered a halftime role. I was, because of my CPA and my Wharton MBA, the school that I applied to teach an adjunct course at, one course, the Gimmer got back to me and said, yeah, August, we're gonna hire you, come on teach. Didn't hear from the accounting program director. I said, no big deal, I got plenty going on. October, I get a phone call. Uh, Scott, interested, we're looking for someone to take a halftime role as an accounting program director. Somebody has some credentials because the director that was speaking to you took another position in the University of Wisconsin system. I said, okay, let's, let's talk. I went out there, I interviewed, students said we want more rigor in our accounting program. I said, students asking for rigor? Where, where, where do I sign? This is cool. So I came on board for six months and at halftime they were going through accreditation, which is they needed somebody with some skills and, and some credibility. And as it turned out, they said, Scott, can you come on board full time? I said, no, that's not in the cards. It's an hour, an hour and a half commute. I've got a lot going on. No, no, Scott, we, we, need, you, we need you full time. I said, no, nah, it's, it's probably not ideal. No, no, Scott, could you please, could you come on full time? And I said, you know what? Three no's equals a yes. That's, there's a sales formula, right? I said, okay, I'll come on board. I thought I'd be there for a year or two. 13 years later, I was still accounting program director. Uh, I still, in the meantime, I picked up a second master's in education, uh, master in education technology. I'd always been searching for the doctorate. I actually found a program that allowed me to go three days a month in Wisconsin, AACSB program at UW, University of Wisconsin, three days a month for two years and a year dissertate. And it was a solid program. I was in the third cohort. I like, like the pioneer and they say the pioneer gets the arrows in the back, but the pioneer also has the fun out of the adventure. Yeah. And this is a fairly new program, exciting doctorate in business administration, in business administration DBA. And that actually, that opened a bunch of doors as well. So a lot of you, you, you do things, doors seem to get kicked down and go yeah. opening. Well, it's funny, it's funny you said that. Right it's, it's, it's funny you said that, you know, because uh, again, we're doing a lot of similar stuff and, and listening to your story is very similar to mine. Yeah. <laughs> so like, you know, Excellent. you said you sold cars. I sold door-to-door uh, uh, -door double glazing, which is a very similar type of sell. Yeah. You said you sold exactly. the, the, the vacuums and all of that. I tried a lot of a lot of those things in very short space of time because I realized they weren't good quickly. Uh, but I did a lot of like um, uh, mobile phones, least cost routing, CCTV, uh, advertising, news. I, I, I had a dish company too. We sold Dish Network, so yeah. we, we had a door to door sales team selling satellite TV. So yeah, and I, then um, and then um, I uh, I started a company which I thought I was only going to be at six months for, and I was there for ten years. Yeah, so, so you did 13, I did 10. I, um, yep. It was a tech startup business, and I liked to be in the pioneer with the arrows in the back. You know, I actually yep. left when it wasn't pioneering anymore after 10 years. I loved, the, I loved the pioneering stage, but once it's got political and meetings about meetings and about meetings and about meetings, and you couldn't actually make any decisions, they took you, because I was allowed to do everything I wanted to to grow my sales team for like eight years because I, I started off on sales, then started managing a team in two years, got promoted nine times in six years. 
and uh, was able to do whatever I wanted to do and shape that business like it was my business. And then as soon as it started getting political and too big and meetings, and I couldn't just decide what I wanted to do. I had to have a meeting about it. I was like, that's not for me, you know? So, You're entrepreneurial, and, and, and yeah, employees can, can be the play. You know, you, it's nice to have a, a team of five, 10, 15 close. You get to 100, you need managers, you need professionals. Yeah. And you know, that's, that's, some people are very good at that. Yeah. Um, I, I, I hear your entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. And, and actually, since I've been self-employed, I've been training a lot of people. And, and obviously, because I've been training since I was 18 in-house in, in sales, you know, um, tennis yeah. sales, field sales, solution sales, IT sales, account management, you know, uh, renewal sales, all that sort of stuff, uh, exhibitions and market sales and, and all that. And then, um, and I've been training a lot of that, you know, uh, since. Uh, and I've actually thought about going academic as well, going into, you know, teaching or something, teaching entrepreneurship or marketing or, or whatever. I've actually thought about it. I haven't done it yet because I want to become a global speaker. And I'll probably just do my own. I'll be my own university at some point rather than go and be academic to someone else. You know, like Grant Cardone, who's, who's one of my mentors. He's got a Grant Cardone mm -hmm. University where he teaches people sales. Um, I'm probably yep. going to have, you know, Mike Armstrong's Entrepreneur Academy where I teach entrepreneurship. Yeah. Um, yes, excellent. So yeah, you know, I've already um, started. Uh, I think I've got uh, a category on my website blog called Michael Mike Armstrong's Entrepreneur Academy. Mm -hmm. Do you have a YouTube channel too that you you're setting up courses or setting up displays or access? Um, yeah, I've, uh, I've I've started putting um, uh, how to educational videos on LinkedIn on my YouTube channel on my podcast. Uh, you know, so. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm just creating content. There's lots of it because I got I got lots of it available. And at some point, putting it to university is just putting it into courses. Excellent. In a, in a logical flow, right? You know, getting it organized, putting it together. So yeah. it's, it's a lot to do and a lot to, a lot of opportunity, a lot of need out there. So it sounds like again, you're doing some great things that providing those opportunities for folks that have those needs. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So you know, my mission is to help as many people as I can on the planet. So, you know, that's why I Amen. do everything in, in, in video and audio so that people can access it, you know, when I'm sleeping. Exactly. Yeah, so I can make the evergreen content, access it and learn and grow. And you know, we're, we're all in growth mode. So hopefully we're, we're, we're you know, we continue. Yeah, I just, uh, I finished the um, uh, five series, the A to Z of, the A to Z of networking, the A to Z of marketing, the A to Z of sales the A to Z of social media and the A to Z of entrepreneurship. And I've just started four more A to Z series, which is the A to Z of leadership, the A to Z of mindset, uh, the A to Z of podcasting, and uh, the A to Z of something else. Actually, I, it's funny you mentioned that because I'm, I'm looking for an alternate title. Your complete guide to succeeding with LinkedIn is a long title. Yeah. So well, my next edition is going to be a much more LinkedIn. I got I one. I got one for you. How to, to smash LinkedIn. There you go. Or LinkedIn Bible or some I'm other. very experience. good at creating and coming up with names and stuff. So if you didn't like that one, that was just pulled right out of the bag. But if you That's told me what, what, what you wanted the LinkedIn, what, what value you wanted to portray or what, you know, if you give me a bit of information, I can come up with something even better. I'm so used to creating Twitter handles, Instagram handles, URLs, all sorts of yeah. things. So I, I'm I'm well exercised in that thinking. Excellent. So the, the and also I do a, I do a lot of posting, so it's all about keywords and headlines. And so I, I'm just like, you know, I help a lot of people with names and ideas and stuff like that because you know book covers, you know book titles, all that sort of stuff. I can come up with all of them, you know. I'll come up Excellent. with it. We'll, we'll talk more. I, 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 I like our conversation. I, mean, yeah. I, I admire your, your spirit, your ruach. Yeah, 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 great. So, um, so yeah, in fact, you know, 101 um, uh, LinkedIn um, is a good, 101 LinkedIn hacks. As a matter of fact, funny you use the word hacks. LinkedIn hacks that get you hired is the title of my five-day challenge. Okay, and there that, we are then, yeah. 20-something. And LinkedIn hacks, I've got five titles. Yeah, for 101 action. awesome LinkedIn hacks. Yeah, that's possible. Now, awesome's getting overused. I, a lot of people are tap, tapping 101, into that. 101 outstanding LinkedIn hacks. 101 yeah. 
or, or little LinkedIn it. hacks that get you hired. Yeah, or something. 101, 101 epic LinkedIn hacks for, um, for, um, uh, for job hunters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, thank you. I'm going to play with that some more too. And uh, like I said, with the next nine days, I'm going, I have 85 steps to a top 5% LinkedIn profile. I'm up to number 96 right now. So when I get to 100 or probably 101, that's probably a little more marketable than 100. Uh, that second edition is coming out and the new title will, will be reflected. Yeah, I, I'm sure we'll for that. I did 80 so. content marketing. I was just writing and writing and writing them, but I had to stop because of the size of, uh, 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 size of content you can have in a LinkedIn post. Yeah. Yep, yep. So I was going to do a hundred or just keep going until I run out. Yeah. So I was just literally yeah. writing these, you know, I was just thinking of all the ways I market on. So, so it, was, it was just popping out of my head. I don't forget. Yep. I've been doing like high core. Go on forever. I've been, going, I've been doing hardcore it. social media marketing for 16 hours mm -hmm. a days for 20 years. Now, and the other skill I really like to challenge took this summer. LinkedIn is my drug choice, obviously. Yeah. But I love Facebook this summer. I'm actually picking up. I have students that are meeting integrate Instagram. In my classroom. I was originally I was hoping TikTok as that help platform. Found most of my students have a TikTok account, but they're not using it. But they're actively using Snapchat and Instagram. So my demographic, the 20 somethings that I'm serving, that's why I'm pulling in. And I, I, I try to develop the soft skills and leadership skills of my students. So we've got a group that's pulling together and we're doing Instagram and I give extra credit. I'll give a whole letter grade of extra credit in my classes added to a final grade. And I'm also, we're doing a business simulation, monsoon sim out of Malaysia. So I've got to meet next week with our students. Business simulation, let's practice now integrating so that when you get out and find out what you want to do, that's not the time to find out the things you like to do. I, I'm in the HR block office when I was in college and said, I am accounting, I like, but taxes, that's not my thing. That's more law. So good thing to find out when you're interning or a student, not to waste two or three years after you graduate saying, okay, let me do tax accounting and say, this love, that's not for me. No. Find out earlier than later. So yeah. you expect, I love the internships. I have all my students, I promote at least two internships because A, over half the students get hired from their internships. And secondly, it's nice to find out what you don't like as well as what you do like. And those experiences you can get are priceless and give you a foot in the door and help you help you to network. Easier to compete with five people for a job than with 500 people for a job too. Yeah, so. definitely. And uh, well, I like what you know on LinkedIn. So I've been using Instagram for quite a long time, Facebook for loads of time, um, TikTok I've just started, you know, uh, YouTube and, and podcasting. And obviously because I'm looking to target, I, I, I work mostly in the real world with older entrepreneurs helping them with the tech. But um, online, I'm looking to target young entrepreneurs with help, helping them with, you know, learning, you know, uh, the 30 years that I've learned in entrepreneurship, I want to teach them, you know, so sales, marketing, networking, leadership, all those sort of things. So, exactly. um, so, so that's why I'm all over TikTok at the moment. I, I, I'm a lot on Instagram as well. And I'm all over YouTube because that's where that generation is, you know, that's where it's going to It's so, easy to get lost, but at least people are learning. And YouTube is that tool, even Quora, you get on there. And you get lost and yeah. you start seeing things, exploring things and even answering things and your input is valuable. And yeah. that's when you share and you, again, when you teach, you learn, yeah. that's, that's, that's you know, look in the back yeah. when you learn, teach, when you get yeah. give, that, that's, that, that's, that's, that's the, that's a theme. Yeah. And that, we're all on this planet together and we're here to grow. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So uh, tell us a little bit more about this, um, the, the website and the, what was it? The intro, uh, the intro. The intro edge. Yeah. So there's, there's three doctorates and four serial entrepreneurs that got, got together. Yeah. And this American educational systems starting with this one course. And it actually was geared originally on, to on, to, on, 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 on the, on, actual, on the, on, on the on intro. answering the question, the tell me about yourself. You okay. want to interview. You want to be remembered. You want to be at the top of the pile. They just interviewed five other people. How do you become the go-to person that says, oh, wow, that Mike guy, that's, a, that, that's I can see them on my team. Yeah. They just tell you a story about what influenced them, inspired them, how they got to where they are in a two-minute story. Yeah. And then- so it's, like, it's, like, it's like basically creating a Hollywood uh, intro. 
Exactly. And you're yeah. building your own confidence when you say that because you have a cogent story, you have a way of expressing yourself, you're saying, this is what I've done, this is where I've come from, and here's where I'm going to go, and that's why we're a good match. Yeah. And if you have someone you talk to that has that confidence and then relate to it, now they get other questions, they're confident, not, uh, yeah, my name is Scott, and, and, um, and, and I have a degree, and, 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 and I even have a GPA. Um, but that's not your story. No. Your story is what makes you and why you're going to be succeeding wherever you're interviewing and talking. Even asking somebody on a date. If you don't have that confidence behind you, uh, they make it a turn down or that first meeting, you're going to be in a position where they talk and you're not confident and they're not going to be uh, wanting a second date. So introedge.com is the site that really yeah. has the, that course. And then we're developing other courses. And how course. is that course delivered? Is it online or is it video? It's or? an online course. You know, it's a, frankly, it's a $99 course, invest in yourself. I mean, my, my $99, book. dollars yeah. Do you have a... Um, do you have an affiliate scheme where if I sent loads of people to that course, yeah? yeah. As a matter of fact, we have 50% commissions on the affiliate. Yeah, okay. Can you send me that because I want to be your um, partner in the UK? Ah, uh, wow. I would be honored and I will communicate. I'll get that out to you. We're on ClickBank as well. Yeah, and okay. I, and get you the details of that. And yes. Send me anything on that. And, and, and I, I literally, I'll build a team of other um, affiliates under me, yeah? And uh, yeah. I'll grow. I'll grow it in the UK. I'll be your. I'll be your man in the UK. You'll be our UK distributor. That, that, you, I'm looking for ways to monetize my networking all the time, and this fits in perfectly with that. Anytime I'm I somebody, the more, you, need you know, the more we talk, the more ideas we come. I think we're going to make, make each other rich this way. That's okay. I don't, I'm not going to fight you on that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I'm. I'm about. I'm about efficiency and maximizing my opportunity. And I'm taking my podcast and my YouTube is the front end of a funnel. Once I get them in, yes, it's yes. about how you build the relationship. Then I do so much right. networking. But there's a lot of people out there who I'd love to help with their networking and, and improve their networking skills. But I don't have the time to deal with them all. But I'd love to just say, listen, here's a link. You know, in the one-on-one -on -one chat in the Zoom, here's a link. Check these guys out. I think you need a bit of help. I'm, I'm going to send you a LinkedIn request and LinkedIn. I'll, I'll just get your company name, address, phone, all the logistics. We'll get you signed on. And 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 that, and love to have you because I think this value add and we can get, you know, this just helps others. It yeah. really makes a difference. That, that's why I love about education. That's why I love about the classroom. I, yeah, you're an academic. There's three pillars. All right. You're doing scholarly stuff. You can publish. And I've published. Great. You can do this to service the institution, and that service is great, but it's all about the students. And if anything we can do to help help people grow, I, I, I'm playing. And that's, well, uh, I'm looking, for a, I'm looking for a platform to sell my happiness courses and my success courses on. So maybe there's an even bigger conversation to have. Success breeds success, and yeah. you're right, you're right on. Yeah, because once these guys learn how to pitch themselves, they then need to learn how to be happy. They then need to learn how to be successful. So if you like, you're yeah. a front end of a funnel for me. Yeah, I mean, you've seen the six spoke wheel and you say, if one of those spokes is short, the wheel doesn't roll. No. If those spokes are different sizes, you now get stuck. So you yeah. do need a balance of those six spokes on a wheel that says, okay, it's a holistic approach, spiritual, yeah. the physical, the emotional, and the and financial, and yeah. it's all balance that has to ha, has to come together. Yeah. And uh, I, think, I mean, co coaches know that stool, that score and how it works. And, yeah. and sales, you know that because sales is really selling yourself and helping others. Yeah. If others, they're gonna they're gonna gra grab at it. If you're in it for yourself, they're gonna push away, saying you're too selfish about that. That's not that's not. We're in this together. Yeah. We're gonna together we're going to succeed together so what you're saying about affiliates about networking about growth that that that's a universal message and, yeah. I, and I appreciate that because that, well, my, my, my business is MA consultancy or Mike Armstrong I got the two I got I got other ones as well other brands if you like you know businesses yep. uh, but MA consultancy I usually do most of my invoicing and contracts under um, which is just Mike Armstrong consultancy yeah um, yep. so MA, MA consultancy Mike Armstrong my website is mikearmstrong.me yeah and my yep. email address is Mike Armstrong at Mike Armstrong dot me. Yeah. Sounds like you're branding. Yeah. So, so if you send me um, information about all the affiliates and all of that, I, I'm really looking forward to growing that in the UK for you. And actually not just in the UK globally, because it's an yeah. affiliate link and I network with people all around the world. So, but, but obviously I've got a massive network in the UK. I've just got a growing network globally at the moment, you know, but yep. um, 
I just I see that being a really good. Uh, uh, obviously, if I can access it or you can send me the content or whatever as well, just to have a look at it. But I know it's going to be good anyway. I know it's going to be yep. good because I know you would. And be I'll, I'll tell you, the, the person that teaches the course I mentioned, the Sylvan Learning Centers, the yeah. founder. He's he's the actual instructor in the course. Okay, and yeah. if there's work you do, and there's a process you go through to build that awareness and to get to it's really really awareness and coming up with your story. And when you develop your story and you can call on it on a dime and that's powerful. And when you have that, and when you have that behind you, sky's the limit. Yeah. What was it again? Intro. Intro edge. I N G R O. Intro edge.com. I'll check it out. I'll have a look at it later, but I just wanted you to get it back on the camera again. Intro. Oh, edge. I appreciate that. No, you get, you get the edge and that's yeah. it's the introduction. It's that first impression. Yeah. Oh, Rogers, you don't get a second chance to make a good first impression. I've got a partner in the. I've got an, a partner in the UK who are really good friends of mine, and they'll love this idea too. So I'm going to introduce it to them. I'm going to tell you because you know, um, you know, I trust you. And they're called Thank Intro you. Biz. Intro Biz, cool. And actually, I'm an ambassador for Intro Biz, and they got three franchises. They got uh, they got two in Wales and one in Sweden, but they're going global and they're going to have franchises everywhere soon. So I'm going to that basically might be interesting to compliment on our if we have an intro edge and intro biz. That might be an interesting compliment, and because we we've been talking saying the intro edge is one thing, the introduction of the self, but yeah. the entrepreneur, the introduction for the small business. Yeah. The inter Yes, intro biz. That sounds like what they're doing. Well, is yeah. So, so, so basically, intro biz is the first place these guys need to go once they've perfected their course. Once they've learned what they learned, they go to intro biz to actually because because knowledge is only knowledge until it becomes wisdom once you've applied it and shared it. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So, so, so I see. I I basically now are going to stick part two to your part one. We're going to put a massive collaboration together. I'm going to be, basically the intro biz is going to be a layer under me. I'm going to be your UK distributor. Yeah. Yep, and I'm yep. going to put a network of people in that's just going to introduce your uh, courses to all of the places they go to that need this course. That's outstanding. Yeah. That, that, again, it's a team effort and spread the word. That, that's, that, that's what it's about, sharing and growing and learning together. Yeah, and the best businesses, are, the best entrepreneurship businesses are opportunists. They're when the right mix of ingredients come together to make the cake. That's what entrepreneurs do. That's right. They find, they find opportunities or make opportunities, but then they grow the opportunities. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So, um, so I think, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, this is a really, it's been a really good call. A lot of my calls are really good and, and we're all looking to collaborate with each other. But this is the yep. first one I think I've actually negotiated a collaboration on here. <laughs> yeah, this is, and this is our first, I mean, we've, 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 we've had the, the opportunity to go back and forth trying to connect on LinkedIn. This is our first face to face and it's, it's, it's been cool. I've, I've enjoyed this. And I yeah. think you're, uh, you're, you're on the ball and it's an honor to meet you and share with you as well. I'm glad to be part of your network. Yeah, brilliant. And uh, yeah, if I can do anything at all to help you in any way uh, with any other platforms, you know, because I've got a bit more experience, it sounds like on some of those, you know, yeah. help you get to a stage where you can write 101, you know, um, Instagram hacks and TikTok hacks and 101 podcast hacks and, uh, and, and Zoom all those hacks sort of and network hacks. I mean, I've got, I've got the list of books I want to publish. Yeah. American Educational Systems, we have a list of about 25 courses that we want to develop to help people develop themselves, personal well, development, personal development and growth. I'll, I'll happily contribute and be a contributor, named contributor in the book and actually help the marketing of it or, you know, if you wanted to, anything like that as well. Like, you know, and, bring, and maybe we can develop a course and maybe when you develop a course, we can include your courses on our offerings because we're marketing globally as well. Yeah. And that's an opportunity to share. And this affiliate marketing is real interesting direction and joint venturing. And that's a lot of the things that it's a lot of this. Is, and I, I hate to emphasize the positives of COVID because there's been a lot of negatives, but there's enough positives. It's how you look at it. It's the half. I, half haven't, half. I haven't actually seen any negatives of COVID, but that's because I don't watch the negative news. I, I don't know anyone yeah. who's been who's been ill, and I live on my own. You know, um, and I just crack on with life, and, and I'm globally networked, and I don't really care what's going on in the world around me. The world, I can't control the world around me. It doesn't make a difference to me and my life. I'm an entrepreneur. I'll do what I want when I want. 
yeah and whatever covid does is is up to covid i'm not bothered you know i've been in lockdown for eight years i've been self-employed working from home for eight years you know what i mean all that's happened is instead of me going networking locally but to two events a week i go networking online to ten a week uh, yep i've been zooming i mean i've been zooming maybe five to eight times a day since the summertime yeah I'm I, I wasn't doing that pre-covid no all right I was not it's just replaced the coffee people. meetings, haven't it? The coffee meetings or whatever. Yep. Like, you know? I mean, I'm using Calendly.com right now. Calendly is wonderful because what happens? You're setting appointments for 30 minutes. You don't have to get dressed. You don't have to go drive or commute. You don't have to follow up at that. You got a 30 minute meeting. You got 30 minutes. You got yeah. a 30 minute interview. You got 30 minutes. And if you want to go on the next interview, you can write up and do some follow up saying, great, well, let's exchange some information and we're on our way. So there's a whole bunch of power and time savings. You're not commuting to work anymore. No. You are actually functioning and well, you know, days are longer too. My prediction, of my, I did economics and accounts in, in, in uni as well. So that was something else we had in common, the, the account side of yeah. things, yeah. But I did Counting economics moves. as well. And my prediction, I was second in the class at the end of the first year, dropped it for the second year because I wanted a day and a half off to, to carry on sales. So I, was, I was working evenings and weekends around my uni doing sales. And so that yep. was the subject that freed up more time in my in my schedule. So I, I, I dropped economics after being second in the class um, and just, just carried on selling really at the time. But I like economics. I love the economy. I love our, our big, our looking at the bigger picture of, of the world and stuff. And I actually think once the, the week gets sorted from the chaff, uh, after you know the weak businesses who were over indebted and were making no profits and all the rest of that, I think there might be a bounce back from this. I think without the benefits of efficiency, globalization and tech, we would have been in a recession for 20 years or so. Yeah. But I think the efficiencies that all businesses are gonna find yeah, I'm going to give us a boost for a while, a tech boost and a global boost. All the small businesses are going to have a little leg up. So when as like the, the economies are built on small businesses, yes, big businesses um, employ a lot of people and, and those people pay a lot of taxes, but they don't pay much taxes. But the people who get hard hit all of the time is the middle ground all of the time. And that middle yeah. ground is just shot up a little bit. And the small companies have all just shot up a little bit. So once all of the you know, crap gets moved out of the way. I think it's going to be a bit of a, a tech boom. And after, the web has broken down barriers. I mean, that, you, you can speak to a million people right now. Yeah. And it, it took a big business at one point to have to do that. And this whole COVID thing basically scaled 10, we're 10 years ahead of where we would have been. Because 10 years from now, more would be working from home, more would be online. Well, I, I actually think 30, oh, but, you know, I think thir I think we've accelerated by 30 years, 20, 30 years. You know, the, the people above me, right, so the, the, the above 40-year-olds, right, because I'm a, a pioneer in tech, right, at yep. my age. I was right on the front edge of my brother. I, I was a computer consultant for way back when, too. I was, I was a yeah. tech well, well I, had a, I had the first computer I knew that did coursework on and stuff, and I did it because I had bad handwriting. I had a computer at 11, which we bought for a £1,000 off a catalogue, right? My brother's mm -hmm. two years older than me didn't even do computer studies in school. I did computer studies. It just come in, and I had a, a grade A at GCSE. So I was like literally pioneer, top of the class, you know, of a new subject that just come in. And I've always been like that all the way through life. Everyone older than me, therefore, right, aren't so computer literate, right? So it, it would have taken 20 odd years for that 20 years older than the okay. age group to, to knock off, yeah? And then for the, everyone to be fully IT literate going forward, yeah? But now that 20 year old gap has been forced to be fully IT literate. So it's, it's exactly. sped the whole process up by 20 years, but actually 10 years behind me as well aren't fully IT literate as much as, they're pretty IT literate, but not as much as the ones 20, 30, 20 years below that, yeah? So, so, so it's forced those people, 10 year, the ones who were 10 years behind me, because don't forget, I was 10 years ahead, but I was top of the class, and so there were people not really 10 years behind me in age, but not very good at computers, I still only had basic IT skills, yeah? But they've all been forced to get better on IT as well. That's why my prediction is a 20 to 30 year speed up. Interesting. And you actually, you talk about that. One of my colleagues who teaches a Zoom class out of Boston, uh, Robbie Samuels, he had an 80, I think it's 87 year old student. She is sharp out of the West Coast, but it's, it's motivation, it's desire. And she is on top of her game. She's now doing Zoom conferences, administering, 
and using the technology. I was a, like I say, I'm, I'm 61 right now, but yeah. I do computer consulting. I was a computer. Yeah, geek. the people in the industry of whatever age, they know the skills. I, I grew in busy you know calc, Lotus one, two, three. Yeah, and they know the skills. Uh, I'm, I'm just generalizing by the mass market. There are always exceptions. There are some amazing 90 year old tech wizards and, and whatever, like, you, you know. It's really but, attitude. And the attitude the changed market. Though, Yeah, it's the mass market, like, you know, it's that big, the populous yep. population. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's boosted that popular, populous population so much. It's ridiculous, like, you know. Yep, you you you're right on. It's 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 a flow, and that and we and we're all we're all riding a wave. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. And I'm interested to see where it does go. I think it's going to be going to be a bit like right. Well, all the top companies in the world, the top 15, 20, are all tech companies. I think there's yep. going to be a, you know the, the likes of you know um, Uber, uh, Airbnb, uh, Facebook, you know LinkedIn, Amazon, you know all these companies, Facebook, Twitter, all that. There's going to be an explosion of those big huge companies. In that type of space in the next if, ten and years. by the way and if they get too stayed i mean you, you look back and say what are the fortune 500 100 years ago 50 years ago 10 years ago i mean fortune 500 we, we the, the the dow just lost two folks and got two newbies so yeah. and their tech and it's going to change and i think itv in the uk is being delisted yeah it's 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 we're, we're all changing and but, but we all have to adapt yeah. and if you, you don't adapt, you die. Blockbusters. Change or die. Blockbusters but, could have die. been. We're gonna live. Blockbusters, blockbusters could have been Netflix. Easy if they they were given the opportunity to buy Netflix, it would have just been yeah. called block, Blockbusters flicks or whatever. Exactly. Know? I think I think there's one Blockbuster left in the U.S. Anyway. Yes, there is one. There's uh, one. Uh, I think it might be Midwest. I just can't remember, but yeah, I've seen that story. I've seen that yep, story, yep. but um, but yeah, you know, world worse in the UK, big ca casualty. A lot of this is where I say the week from the chap. A lot of the old retailers, which were dying slowly, are all just dying quickly. They've all just been shot in the head. Accelerated the prep to, to change. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm a big study. I'm, I'm I'm a big study of politics. Um, you know, I watch Question Time all the time, but I hate politics. But I like to know what's going on in the world because everything's interconnected and a lot of people don't watch politics. They don't it, it, uh, watch business news. They don't watch the news. I watch the news just for the headlines. Yeah, the one headline of news in amongst all the crap of, of inspecting every angle of the same news. But you know, as you say, the week from the chat, you're, you're yeah. separating it. Yeah, so I just no. think I, I need to know what's going on in the world because I'm an entrepreneur and an entrepreneur is everything affects your decision making, etc. Yeah. I hate you politics. Better. I hate it with a passion, but I'd like to know what's going on. I'd like to know. I mean, look at the Middle East, look at UAE, you look at the changes. Yeah. And again, change is the only constant. And we're yeah. and, 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 and I'd like to know who, who all the idiots are and what the changes they're making are so I can avoid them and avoid the changes. And just, you know, <laughs> I think, as an entrepreneur, it's important to know where all the rules are and what all the rules are so you know where to bend them. Exactly, or break them. Yeah, or so, break them, or push them, or whatever, because pioneers, that's what we do. That's exactly right. It's okay to be your first. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, if, if we all stuck to the rules, we'd never have found anything or discovered anything. Well, I would look forward to get, catching this link and sharing as well and getting, getting your gospel out in the world, getting your word out, because yeah. I think you bring a lot to the table, and I know I try to as well. And yes, well, it's about... I would say we're very uh, similarly cut from the same cloth and also have similar life experiences as I identified with, you know, when he was telling me your story, it's so similar to mine, the headline story, you know, the, the blockbuster clip, if you like, of the yes, highlights, yes. you know, your exactly. highlights and my highlights, the main points which shaped us are very similar points. Exactly right. And, we're, and we continue to grow and we continue yeah. to share. So that's to our to mutual credit. Brilliant, brilliant. Yes, yeah, so uh, I'm going to shoot up now because it's the weekend, so I'm going to get out on my bike and uh, enjoy it because there's a little bit of sunshine shining as well. It's, we don't That's have right, you got a few hours on it. So it, was, it was a nice morning. A pleasure to talk, a pleasure, and I'll look forward to our next interaction, and I will continue to keep in touch. Yes, me too, and uh, just uh, nothing else left for me to say other than have a great day. I know I will, and thanks very much for listening. Mike, thank you. We'll look yes. forward to the opportunity. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye.